Hello everyone, Air here, and um, in this video I'm going to talk about the new Claymore Snow Tomb and Prototype. I know it has been a hot topic of you know which Claymore is better, and in this video I'll show you guys um damage comparison and I'll explain why which one is better and when it's better. So both base attack. This is Claymore um, Refinement One and this Refinement Two, but it doesn't matter. It does not change too much f from the test result um, both base attack is 609 when it's max the percentage doesn't matter we don't need to worry too much about it right now but obviously you can see this is higher even at refinement one but we'll talk about this part later um so let's talk about the snow tomb description here the effect hitting an opponent with normal and charge attacks has a 60 percent chance of forming and dropping an icicle above them Dealing 80% AoE attack damage, opponents affected by cryo are dealt 200% attack damage can only occur once every 10 seconds. So this 60% here affect this both description here. So there's a 60% chance you deal 80% AoE attack damage. So you'll drop this icicle, 60% chance. So if you don't have any well, if the opponent does not have any cryo, it's going to deal only 80% attack damage, the AoE. But if affected by cryo, it'll deal 200% instead. But the 60% chance does not, I mean, affects this is one, one stat. So don't look at it as two different stats. So either you deal 80% or you deal 200%. Easy to understand. Okay, so now we're going to look at prototype on hit. Normal or charge attacks have a 50% chance to deal an additional 300% attack damage to opponents with a small AoE. So this is the same. This is a small AoE. This is AoE attack damage, but the range, like the, it's almost the same. It's not any like bigger when it comes to this AoE. It can only occur once every 15 seconds. So now, again, since it's refinement two, it was refinement one. I believe is 260%. But the difference is 60%. It was at the same rank. And the cooldown, this one is 5 seconds quicker than this one. Okay, so that is one different here. Higher damage, lower damage, higher cooldown, lower cooldown. So now when you enhance these here, so one thing I notice is if you enhance the snow tomb, uh, let's do refine, not enhance. Refinement. When you hit another refinement, everything increases, including the chance of forming the icicle. So the chance of procking this uh, extra damage increases when you refine. But when it comes to prototype, it remains at 50%. Even if you max it, it's still at 50%, but the damage will go by 60% higher each refinement. Before I explain further, I gotta clarify with you guys that the snow tomb, the effect here, the icicle is a physical damage, is not cryo damage. A lot of people think or assume that this deals ice damage. They'll be like, oh this is great on Razor. You know, now it's broken, now he can self prop um, superconda. You know, electro plus cryo superconda. So this is perfect. No, this is only white damage, okay? It's only physical damage. It does not proc that. And the next thing I'm gonna talk about is we're gonna compare these stats here, these main stats here. So this one's attack percent. Well, don't forget that this is refinement rank two and refinement rank one. So for example, let's take Razor as an example. He is based off physical damage. So physical damage is all white damage. If you guys don't understand the physical damage, compared to normal damage, I did make a video of that. I will also link in the video description. It's very important to understand that. So physical damage, okay, we're let's say this is all physical damage when it comes to this. Because it's normal or charge attack. So this physical damage, you can actually, when you compare right here, you can kind of compare it as, um, this is also attack damage, attack percentage. You can kind of do it like that, but no, actually not true. Because this one also affects the his elemental skill and burst. Okay, now let's talk about the main stats here. So 
if you only care about the white damage, the physical damage, this is far more superior. And this is refinement one, and this is two. But you cannot compare a, like I think a lot of people just compare these two Claymore by purely just like the damage. If you look at it on paper, this one is so much better but because of the physical damage but um i'm not seeing which one is better right now i'll show you guys the damage comparison and i'll explain why and which one is better and when it's better but right now on paper this is better when you just compare the refinement because the bonus gives you more if you just look at the white damage again but for example razor here you can't just look at the white damage because there's no way you're not going to use um, elemental skill nor elemental burst but elemental skill and burst based off his attack. So this benefits more when you, you know, when you can put into consideration of the uh, skill and elemental burst. This one does not give that bonus. Well, anyways, before I go to the next explanation, I'm gonna show you guys actual footages of this damage comparison. Okay, so I'm gonna test by using the normal attack. I'm only gonna use one hit because every hit scales differently. So it's easier to eyeball when we do one hit. But however, don't base on that one hit to determine which weapon is better. Because that's not how you test a weapon. But anyway, so for now, let's look at the um, visually which one does a little bit more damage when it comes to um, white damage. So we're going to look at one hit only. Okay, that's the icicle. You can see it does white damage. There's no color, which means there's no element. Okay, now I'm just gonna do one slash. All right, four nine two eight, right here five one four zero. So this is the highest attack I can get from that one hit, and I proved it by doing a little bit more five one four zero five one four zero five one four zero. Okay, now we are going to look at the prototype. Okay, that one you see here, it proc that. 300% damage. Okay, right here. 4993 is the highest. 4993. So I double check by trying to prop more. 4993 again. 4993 again. And once again, 4993. So that's the highest I can get. Okay, guys. So from what you just saw, obviously the Snow Tomb does a little bit more white damage. But that doesn't determine if this is a better weapon on Razor or a better weapon in general. Again, uh, like I just said earlier, you cannot compare a weapon by just doing white damage and just doing one hit. So when you do a full battle, like when you do a full battle, there's a lot of factor missing, of course, that I just test. You would have to put into consideration about using elemental skill, elemental burst, and then also your the amount that you prop your critical damage that's also RNG so that part is super hard to test because again there's RNG involved but anyways I found a way to test I did it more than like 15 times so it's pretty accurate so I'm going to show you guys a damage comparison in a not a full battle but a 40 second battle it took me a lot of time and practice to replicate the attack sequence with both sword and I think this is the close I can get and it's almost synced. The result is in and you can tell that prototype does a little bit more damage. Okay guys, so after that comparison you'll be like, oh, so prototype is better. Uh, no doesn't work like that. So again, first remember that this is comparison of refinement rank one and two. And when this comes to five, this is a 100% chance prop, while this stays 50%. So we're just gonna look at this 200% and 300% comparison. It's fine if it's rank one and two, it doesn't matter, because we wanna know that downtime here, there's a 10 second downtime compared to 50 second downtime. So how big of a deal is this? So if you look at uh, for example, let's use 300 seconds as example. So 300 second battle, every 10 seconds, you can proc this once. 
So every 300 seconds, you can practice 30 times. While here, 15 seconds means every 300 seconds, you can practice 20 times. So now we're comparing to, let's talk about refinement rank five now. Right now, you probably don't see a big difference. Maybe prototype does have a little upper hand. But if you look at a longer battle, if you look at both at refinement rank five, every 300 sec, uh, well, 300 second, 30 procs, 100% 30 procs. Compared to 300 second, 50% 20 procs. But that 20 procs is only 50%, which means that 20 procs might only proc 10 times, while this one procs 100% 30 times. Okay, so in conclusion, um, for Razor, I can't speak for all characters, but I can say it for Razor, this weapon is better under, uh, under certain circumstances. So short battle, this is better. Long battle, this is better. But overall, this is better. If you have a ice character on your team, that can always apply the cryo. Also, on top of that, if you look at the bonus, this gives really little attack bonus. And this is at refinement rank 2, and this is at, at 1, and it's 31.5%. It's 6% uh, more here, even at rank 1. So first, you need a cryo character. Second, you need a goblet artifact. That gives you physical damage bonus. So if you have this one for attack percent, you probably want to use a prototype to work, like to multiply that. But if you have physical damage bonus, you want to multiply that. Especially for Razor, when you level him up, his bonus is off of um, physical damage. So the more physical damage is better for him. But for other characters, I don't know if it's better um, you definitely need to test. But I think for Xin Yang, the new fire hero, I think she is really good with uh, this sword. Chon Yun, not really, because Chon Yun, I do remember his elemental skill converts into ice damage, then the physical damage doesn't proc anymore. Okay, guys, I hope you guys have a better understanding. Um, I don't know if this is the best way of testing this Claymore, but I did use both Claymore to fight against the same boss five times each. And as a result, the tomb, well, my team had a cryo character. And as a result, I did kill the boss faster all five times, but not by much, by a little bit more. I, I don't remember, maybe like 10 to 20 seconds quicker. However, don't forget that it's refinement rank 1. If it's 2, I'm pretty sure it'll be much, much faster. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Um, once again, if you like what you're watching, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.